Hello, my name is Mary Howard, and today I'm going to talk to you about the Merge Cube and how you can use it in your classroom. If you'd like a copy of the slideshow that goes along with this video, just type in the bit.ly link that you see above. And before we begin, just a little bit about me. I am a sixth grade teacher, and I love using technology to assist with instruction. If you have any questions at the end of the broadcast, certainly you can reach out to me on social media. I'm on Twitter at Mrs. Howard 118 and on Instagram at Using Your Smarticles. And of course, please take a look at my blog, YourSmarticles.com. So let's get started. What is a merge cube? The merge cube is just a cube with a pattern on all six sides, and the material it's made of is kind of spongy. Whenever I show the merge cube to my students, they get pretty excited when they first see it, and they ask me, ooh, is that an Illuminati symbol? You can purchase the merge cube on Amazon for about $20, but recently with distance learning, Merge began to offer a free printable template of the merge cube. You can download a free copy of that template by clicking this link on the presentation slides. And once you have your hands on a merge cube, or even the image of a merge cube, you can see how fantastic it is. It's what it does that's so amazing. The merge cube is an augmented reality trigger that can trigger over 35 different apps. And if you're not familiar with what augmented reality is, just think of it as a digital experience viewed within the real world. The real world is augmented. Here's a fun example of what I mean. This is the Merge Cube pattern. This is my Makerspace sign. And what happens is when I open a Merge Cube app and aim it at the Merge Cube pattern, it looks as though my sign has turned into the solar system. That's augmented reality. As I mentioned before, there are 35 apps that can work with the Merge Cube, and they can be found here at miniverse.io. It's the apps that make the Merge Cube so powerful. The Merge Cube is just a target, but when an app is aimed at the Merge Cube, then you see an augmented reality experience. As you take a look at the apps on the Miniverse platform, you can click on an app to view it. You can see whether or not it is free or a paid for app, and you can also see what platforms the app works on. Many of the apps are able to be used on several different platforms. The Merge Explorer app is a free app that offers a lot of features. However, it does have built-in paid for features as well. Let's open it up and take a look at two of my favorites. One of my favorite sections of Merge Explorer is the Galactic Explorer section, where students can explore the solar system. By clicking play, it opens the camera on the device, and when you hold it in front of the cube, you can see the solar system and explore all the different parts. This is the Mr. Body section of the Merge Explorer app, and this dude allows students to explore a variety of organs in the human body and it provides explanations that correspond with each organ. One way I like using these Merge Cube experiences is to have companion sheets where the students have scavenger hunts that they have to complete in order to find the answers. So they hold a Merge Cube, view the augmented reality experience, and then complete the scavenger hunt. If you're following along in the slideshow with the bit.ly link, you can download a free copy of the scavenger hunt or you can scan this QR code and get the same free copy. Here's another fun app called the Things app, where students have a bunch of games and interactive items that they can view. But my favorite one is Hollow Body, where they can view a skull and a beating heart. Needless to say, there are a lot of apps for students to explore within the Merge Cube. But what about creation? Can students create or can you create experience for the Merge Cube? Well, the answer to that is yes. The creators of the Merge Cube collaborated with a company known as CoSpaces EDU, and it's with CoSpaces that you can start to build and design custom experiences for your Merge Cube. And better yet, you can have students build them as well. CoSpaces is a 3D design website that allows you or students to create customized Merge Cube experiences. And then you can view those experiences through the CoSpaces app. So it's actually two things, a website and an app. 
To give you an idea of the variety of things that you can do with the CoSpaces platform, here are just some of the projects that I did with my sixth graders using CoSpaces EDU. span every subject area and you can allow students to get pretty creative and crafty. Take a look at the snow globe and if you're looking to create one of the cubes that I showed you, take a look at my YouTube channel. There's a good chance I have a tutorial showing exactly how to make it. If you want to give CoSpaces EDU a try, search for the URL CoSpaces.io. Then build yourself an account. If you'd like a free pro trial license, you can use this code COSMARYHO and it will give you several seats for about 90 days. Now I want to go into a little bit more detail about what CoSpaces EDU is and does. When you first log into CoSpaces and click Create Space, you're going to be working with this Merge Cube space. On the lower left hand corner, you'll see that there's a library which offers an extensive variety of resources. That same section also has an upload feature where you can upload your own JPEG or PNG images. We're going to be working with this section in just a few minutes. CoSpaces EDU even has a coding platform where students can animate features that they've selected. They say the best way to learn is to do. So during our presentation today, I'm going to take you step by step through the creation of this one and only Ivan Story Cube. What's really neat about this cube is that each of these sides was created on a Google slide and then the slides were uploaded into CoSpaces EDU and were attached to the Merge Cube for viewing. The steps in the process are here, but I'm going to take you through them one step at a time as we create our one and only Ivan Cube. To start your cube, you're going to want to create or edit these Google Slides and answer the questions about the story. The slides need to be squared. I typically create mine to be 5 inches by 5 inches. To be honest, your slides don't have to be about the one and only Ivan. They can be about just about any topic. You'll then download each slide as a JPEG file. Here's how that's done. Click on the slide thumbnail, then click File and Download as JPEG. Do this for each slide in the slide deck. Next, we're going to move on over to CoSpaces so we can create our one and only Ivan cube. To start your cube, go to My Spaces, click Create a Space, and then select Merge Cube as the type of space. A blank Merge Cube will appear. You remember all those JPEG images you saved earlier? Now it's time to use them. We're going to upload them to CoSpaces by selecting Upload Images and the Upload button. When you find them in your directory, open them and they'll upload directly into CoSpaces. Here you can drag them onto the building platform. You're going to want to do this for every single image that you created in Google Slides. Once they've been uploaded, you can stretch, rotate, and lock them into position on the queue. So now that I have all of the images on the Builders platform, it's time to attach them to the queue. To do that, you right click on each image, click the word attach, and a blue dot will appear on the queue. Click the blue dot in the location where you want to connect your image. Repeat that process for each image until you've connected all of the images to all of the different sides of the cube. Once you have each image attached to each side of the cube, you can use this Builders tool to stretch the image until it fits the side of the cube. Repeat that process until all of your images are perfectly fit to the cube. some characters to our queue. To start, go to the library, select animals, and scroll to the right and look for the gorilla. To place the gorilla on the builder's platform, just drag it and drop it. To get the 
character into place, the use of the builder's tools is necessary. Here you can lift and lower him, move him left, right, up and down, or rotate him into position. When you're ready to add more characters, repeat the same process. Go to the library and find your character, drag the character onto the builder's platform, and use the builder's tools to position the character into place. I chose to add the dog, the elephant, as well as the gorilla. You can also include a banana or any other animated or non-animated item you choose. Speaking of animation, we're now ready to animate these characters. To animate, all you need to do is right click on the character and select the animation option. You'll see several choices. Click on the choice you want and it will demonstrate the character moving. Repeat that for all of the characters that you've selected. We're finally ready to view our item in virtual reality. Just click play and you'll see your character's animations as well as all of the images that you've attached to the cube. You might remember earlier that I mentioned CoSpaces is both a website and an app. So at this point, you're actually going to be opening up the app in order to view your creation. To do this, you first have to share the creation that you've made. You'll be given a choice of whether you want to share that item unlisted or whether you want to publish it to the gallery. The nice part about publishing an item to a gallery is that others can reuse the space that you've created. Once you've shared your creation, you click the share button one last time and you'll see a QR code. It's this QR code that you scan with your CoSpaces EDU app on your device to view the item in augmented reality. So we've covered an awful lot of ground today in our much ado about Merge Cube journey, but I'm really glad you came along. And if you have any questions, by all means, please reach out to me via the social media platforms you see below. Bye.